<laughs> and welcome to Exploring Chiropractic. I'm Nathan Cashin, and this is the podcast for chiropractic and pre-chiropractic students. This is episode four, August 25th, 2013, with Sherman College of Chiropractic. Uh, we've got a large panel of some students at Sherman. I'm really excited to get going and find out more about this school tonight. Before we get started, just a reminder, this show is lovingly unsupported by any chiropractic institution. It's all independently <laughs> produced, uh, including uh, University of Western States and Sherman College. So that means that anything and everything that we share in our discussion is our opinion, our opinion only, and doesn't reflect um, the policies or branding of the schools that we're talking about. Our it's opinions. just all based on our experiences. Um, so the... Uh, I want to introduce our panel tonight. We've got five wonderful students coming from Sherman. And uh, I first got in touch with Anna Elkins, thanks to a recommendation by Spinal Column Radio. How are you doing, Anna? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. So you are a chiropractic intern at Sherman? I am. I'm in 12th quarter. 12th quarter, so just about mm -hmm. done. Getting close. Very, very close. Awesome. And where are you originally from? I'm from Whiteville, North Carolina. Okay, so kind of close. Yeah. Great. And next up, I think we've got Ginny Gross. How are you doing? Good. Good. So you're a transfer student from life in Atlanta, Georgia, as yes. well as being previously a transfer student from National. Yes. Great. That's going to be really interesting to hear more about mm -hmm. that. Uh, next up, we've got Rachel. And Rachel, you're fourth quarter from Pennsylvania? Yes. Awesome. Um, what's, so your background in neuroscience was your undergrad? Mm -hmm. I, uh, about yourself? I'm about an hour outside of Philadelphia. Uh, I study neuroscience and I love learning about the nervous system. Chiropractic is totally different, so love it. Awesome. Super excited. And joining us together, uh, we've got uh, Robin Heaton and Virginia Voiles. Hi. Hello. <laughs> and uh, let's see. So, Robin, you were in the alternative healthcare field for over 20 years, and then mm -hmm. you decided to go into chiropractic. Is that right? I did. Mm -hmm. um, and Virginia, I don't. Do I let's, do I have a little bio on you? Here we go. So you're fifth quarter. Yes. And you're originally from where? From Illinois. Okay. Great. Well, welcome everybody. Uh, this is going to be. A really great discussion, I think. I'm going to learn a lot about Sherman. So Sherman is, you know, it's one of those schools that I hear about a lot. So I've been looking into chiropractic for over 10 years. I think before I graduated high school, I knew it's what I wanted to go into. It took me a long time to get to school, but over those years, I've learned a lot about different schools. But I have to admit, Sherman is one that I kind of haven't heard a lot about. So I'm excited to hear from you about what's going on in Sherman. So, I mean, what what's kind of the news? What's the current thing going on at your school? Oh, my goodness, where do you start? Yeah. <laughs> um, now is a very exciting time for Sherman College because we do have a new president, Dr. Evan Cordero, mm -hmm. and the student body has just really come alive in the last several months. So there's a lot of new things happening, and it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Dr. Cordero. Um, well, I didn't actually know him until he came to Sherman. I met him at a Talk the Tick by the Fire seminar back in January. Um, and Vir Virginia Boyles actually did that. Yeah, thank you, Virginia. Um, and so that was my first experience getting to meet him, and I knew off the bat that he was going to be a wonderful leader for Sherman College. So I'm going to share my screen here real quick. <clears throat> as you tell me a little bit more about him. So it uh, looks like he, he's really new. I mean, the beginning of this year, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And had a practice for 19 years, mm -hmm. um, frequent speaker, and, and does a lot of humanitarian chiropractic mission trips. Mm -hmm. Have any of you been on chiropractic mission trips? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, I, I hear a lot about them from uh, Life West and some other schools. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we don't do a lot of them here. I haven't heard much uh, huh. mention of them at Western States. It's kind of interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's see, Dr. Cordero is bilingual, which is awesome, and uh, 
was the chiropractor for the Co Costa Rican team mm -hmm. in the Central American Olympic Games. That is mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah. yeah. So what... He brings a lot of experience to the table, and um, he's very open with us. And um, I do recall it was the first week of classes. He was our substitute professor for our philosophy class because oh, wow. our other one was out of town, and it was amazing. Um, it was actually the same night that Philosophy by Fire was taking place. And so he just he's very well, he's very warm and welcoming and we know him I, I, I mean, pretty much the entire school knows him on a one-on-one -on -one basis so mm -hmm. it's a it's a very comfortable environment it really is that he creates has anything significant changed I mean you've mentioned that kind of the school um, communities kind of come together mm -hmm. recently I mean has he made any big changes in the policies of the school? Um, the policies, I'm the not policies, so sure about. Yeah. Um, but I do know that he's definitely given the school a facelift, which was much needed. Yeah, oh and, uh, <laughs> and in, what, in what way? What do you mean by that? Facelift, uh, well, like spiffing it up, painting. Yeah, new so physically. Up upgrading. Physically. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then he's also bringing in a lot of international students, particularly from mm -hmm. Puerto Rico. And so just having that new Latino energy in our student body is, is really fun. Cool. Tell me a little bit about the campus. I mean, what do you see when you first come to school in the morning? Green. Yes. Green. Lots of green. Trees. Lots of trees. And trees. We have it's a beautiful just, uh, campus. It is. It's, it's wide open. It's mm -hmm. it just, I mean, we, we're in the process right now. Um, we want to start at getting a garden growing there, I and mean, we have a lot of ideas that we want to take further. Um, a lot of support from the students, too. I mean, many students are on board and wanting to get this uh, more green focused because we have so much space and so many possibilities. We actually have over, over 80 acres of land at Sherman mm -hmm. College, so there's wow, lots of land that is spread really, out. That is really spread out. Yeah. So for those watching Beautiful. the video, I'm I'm sh just showing the web page right now and kind of clicking through. Um, so it looks like you got a little fitness center. Mm -hmm. Nice sand volleyball court. Yes, and we use that Very a lot. Cool. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, we have, we've got a grass court, uh, you know, a grass volleyball net set up, and that's frequently used. But I think more so, uh, ultimate frisbee is the big thing out here. Okay. You have a lot oh, of frisbee yeah. players. Um, I don't know. I don't. Per se. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not me okay. personally. Yeah, it seems to be a West Coast thing. It uh, was uh, pretty big in Illinois. So tell me, what, what else about the campus do you love? What's, what's your favorite building? Hmm. Well, at Sherman, we only actually have three buildings, and they each serve their own distinct purpose. Um, one is just a general classroom and administration building, the other is a health center, and then the third is the building with the gym and another classroom. Okay. So, so they all have a, a really great purpose, and they're all very different. So I would say health center is my favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Is that because of the free adjustments that you get? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's because so much of the great learning happens. Yeah, that's where we really study the films there. We learn our technique, and we just improve complete chiropractic. So very cool. Yeah, that's that's where the chiropractic happens. You know, that's where the yeah, magic happens. Magic happens. happens. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, there's nothing wrong with free adjustments. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of my favorite things. I I go so often to the clinic and I you know I just come up with anything at all that is bothering me and I just let my intern go to town and figure mm -hmm. it out Absolutely. so Sherman is located in Spartanburg mm -hmm. South Carolina yeah. you yep. can probably barely see it in honor I wore my oh, Spartan okay. Race t-shirt oh, okay. <laughs> oh, cool. awesome. you've all heard of the Spartan Boy. Races we absolutely have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's funny. I did the one here in the Pacific Northwest two, three weekends ago. It was three oh. weekends ago I did the Spartan Race, and then two weeks later I did a marathon. Nice. Um, but the Spartan Very Race cool. is, is definitely more fun. Um, do you know where, the, where it got the name Spartanburg? I mean, it has, does it have anything to do with ancient Greece? 
I doubt it. Uh, I'm not too sure. Mill town. Good question. It was a very big milling town and such back in the day, so it was very industrialized. So I think it's some I don't know if it comes from that though or not. We'll have to check that out. I don't know the history of Spartanburg proper, but I do know the history of the nickname of Spartanburg, which is the Hub oh, City. Sparkle. Spar oh, Sparkle City and the Hub yes. City. Oh, the yes. Hub, yeah, because yeah, right. of the, yeah, that's yeah. true. So, so the Hub that. City was basically because this is where all of the trains traveling across the country would stop, and mm. it was basically a hub of major communication. Right I'm checking out the Wikipedia page here, oh, and... Uh, it, it seems like it's quite a small town. Uh, urban population of 180,000 as of 2010. Mm -hmm. Is it pretty quiet? And, and mm -hmm. Is it rural? or? Uh, well, the edges are, but most of it's pretty good. Yeah. And we're very, cl we're very close to lots of other major cities, mm -hmm. so we have a lot of different options here. Yeah, so linked from... Um, from the website, they've got I've got the Google Map here. This is nice. If I zoom out just a bit, so what are some of the big cities that you're by? Yeah. Well, Greenville, we're South Carolina, Carolina. Yeah. Greenville, Asheville, and Charlotte. Charlotte, we're only three hours away from Atlanta. Um, okay. Which is handy. And um, Charleston, South Carolina. So there's a lot of beauty around here. Absolutely. And um, not just. Miles away, you can drive 20 minutes and you get to the mountains, the tip of the mountains, and um, you can get out on hikes and such. So, yeah, it's a great location. I think getting out to the mountains is one of the most important things. Absolutely. I love going high. This morning I did a trail run with a friend of mine in my class. <coughs> Just absolutely fabulous. I noticed uh, the Wikipedia page has a, a little rundown of the average climate. It looks kind of warm. A little bit, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely can get very hot here in the summer. And it never snows, ever. So. <laughs> yeah, the lows. What are the lows? In the 40s? Yeah. May, uh, oh, January, it looks like the 30s. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, but it, per it's perfect weather here most of the time. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Is it pretty humid? It can the summer, be. Sometimes. Yeah, this summer definitely can be. Yeah. So tell me, why did you guys pick Sherman? What led you to <laughs> Sherman Chiropractic College? Um, philosophy for me personally. Yeah, it's a very it's very focused on uh, the vitalistic philosophy. Now, from what I remember, it used to be called, and I don't know if this is the official title, but Sherman College of Straight mm -hmm. Chiropractic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And is that still yeah. the moniker that it uses? No, it's, it is no. just Sherman College of Chiropractic. Okay, but still maintains that vitalistic philosophy. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, for me personally, it was it's it's real chiropractic, um, and that's what I want to be learning from and learning around personally. Um, so that's really what pulled me. Um, it was no option really, and you know I didn't move here for Spartanburg, South Carolina. I moved here for Sherman mm -hmm. College. <laughs> So it's, it's a great town and the such, and it's really neat because there's a lot of colleges in the town, so you have the opportunity to meet plenty of people and do a lot of, you know, mingling um, with the little time we have for a social life. But uh, it's it's a great school. Now, uh, there are some pre-chiropractic students that may not understand this idea of vitalism, and, and frankly, I'm not too clear on it myself. So would you say this is the same vitalism that was kind of heralded by... Berzelius in the early 19th century. Um, or how would you define it? The power that made the body heals the body. Heals the body. Mm -hmm. It's from what the Palmers started. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. what BJ and Didi intended chiropractic to be. So. Mm -hmm. so the idea that... So if I look up on Wikipedia, because other people might do this, might find a definition, um, Wikipedia defines it as the doctrine that living organisms are fundamentally different from living from non-living entities mm -hmm. because they contain mm -hmm. some non-physical element or are governed by different principles than our inanimate things. Do you agree with kind of that description of it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. That's absolutely part of it anyway. Yeah, for sure. Is there anything um, else you would add, Jenny? 
Um, I guess, you know, to know that there is, you know, as Anna was saying, there's, you know, the, the energy that created the body heals the body, so there's an innate intelligence that runs the body. And, you know, where, you know, you're not going to see that in a piece of plastic, but in a living body. Anything okay. else you want to add, ladies? <laughs> that sums it up in a nutshell, really. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, that's what we say quite often, chiropractic is life. Mm -hmm. So you focus on that innate intelligence, on that foundational philosophy. You know, I got a question through the website, exploringchiropractic.com, from a pre-chiropractic student who's down in uh, Puerto Rico. And he's mm -hmm. looking, he's trying to pick a school. Now mm -hmm. he said, and I, and I think a lot of people have different ideas of what chiropractic is, and you've shared some great reasons why you chose Sherman. Now he said he's looking for a school that has more of a focus on has more of a focus on treating musculoskeletal conditions um, and and he said I would like to attend a school that prepares the students more in the physical practice of chiropractic than in the philosophical aspect so if he's looking for that kind of school would you say Sherman may not be a good fit for him if he wants more musculoskeletal more physical adjusting what do you guys think what would you recommend to him I still mm. say come to Sherman. Absolutely. <laughs> I still say come, try it out, see what innate intelligence can do, learn Absolutely. the power of it, and then he will understand those musculoskeletal disorders on a much greater level. Rachel, I'm sorry I had to mute you. So, do you have any? Did you catch that? A students looking for more of a musculoskeletal focus of chiropractic. Do you think Sherman would be a good fit? Um, I think. Sorry. Let's see. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. I don't know if I'm... Okay. Um, I think that um, he probably needs to look into, you know, has he shadowed different chiropractors? Um, has he seen what their focus is? Because Sherman definitely does have um, that science aspect to it. But I think we blend in the philosophy, which is just as equally important. You know, we talk about there being... Uh, the tripod of the philosophy, the art and the science, and um, we definitely focus on all three. So do we focus on the musculoskeletal? Yes, absolutely. But we also get in the philosophy and the art too, which is so important. And how much do you guys branch out into extremity adjusting or maybe sports chiropractic? You know, those other aspects that wouldn't really usually fall right under the uh, chiropractic. We definitely have those classes mm -hmm. offered. Um, mm -hmm. We have people here that are known around the world for their expertise in those areas, but it's not something that you necessarily have to do just to get through the program. Okay. So okay. Like if there you want it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what's great about Sherman is there's many options. Although we are philosophically based, and like Rachel was saying, though, we we, we hold that three-legged stool pretty strong with science, art, and philosophy. And, um, you know, you're not, you're not told how to feel about chiropractic. You're told, make your decision and, you know, and look into every aspect about that decision and make it smartly. Um, don't, uh, don't just jump because somebody says. So that's what, something I very much respect about Sherman. And with uh, that, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say one thing that I would like to add for anybody who's watching is that, you know, the vitalistic philosophy believes that, you know, what we do as chiropractors is we remove an interference from the nervous system so that the body can, that innate intelligence that we were talking about will take over and get the energy flowing and so that all of the nerves and the organs and everything in the body is you know back in its best functioning you know position mm -hmm. and so that's really the whole idea behind it and you know there's um, as they were talking about there's so many different options of things that you know you can do if you would like to but that's you know like the basic premise of it all is Definitely. that the adjustment removes the interference from the nervous system and the nervous system works better. 
And then the body works better. And the immune Absolutely. system works better. Mm -hmm. And every system you have just and works the, better. And, and the we all system works better. <laughs> awesome. Sounds great. I'm curious to know what um, what techniques are taught in the curriculum, uh, or what techniques are left for seminars, workshops, or electives. Um, we have a lot um, of techniques yeah. that we are taught. Quite a few. Um, let's start listing them. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. Gonstead, yeah. Thompson, Thompson, Versified. Yeah, yeah, Diversified. You've got Thompson, Chest. Knee chest, yeah, is that what it's Knee chest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we have NSA elective as well. Um, what was that one again? NSA network spinal analysis. Oh, yes, definitely heard of it. Okay, and those are all. Those are a, that one is an elective. Most of the mm -hmm. others were included yeah. in the curriculum. Most yes. of them, um, yeah. Or well, like the Thompson technique, that will be an elective as well. Um, we previously have had Blair technique. Um, right now it's not offered, but we have had it. Um, we have a Pierce um, elective. We have... There's a pediatric adjusting pediatric, class. Pediatric, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I'm trying to... Yeah, it's it's really... I mean... What else do we... <laughs> yeah, and you mentioned, sim that. you mentioned seminars also. Um, we did yeah. have an animal adjusting seminar a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was taught on campus by an outside doctor. Mm -hmm. um, there's, and there's lots of other seminars yeah. that do come to Sherman. We have the ICP, ICPA seminar coming, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Jeannie um, Holmes ICPA is starting this fall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a great thing to have there at Sherman. Yeah, and great. that's pediatrics, the mm -hmm. pediatric adjusting. So. Awesome. So, so that's a very long, like, is it a full year long seminar, I believe? It's about once yeah. a month. Um, yeah. And it's weekend. about a full year long, uh, once a month on the weekend. And so yeah. it's great because normally students have had to drive to Atlanta. And um, that we're going to have it offered at school will be really helpful. Now, Virginia, you mentioned to me that you're president of the Philosophy Club. Yes. Mm -hmm. to, what do you do in the Philosophy Club? Uh, we meet once a week, and what we do when we meet, um, various things. Uh, what we focus on is getting our message out about chiropractic. So whatever you want your message to be, coming to club each week, we're, we work on perfecting that message. Whatever, you know, we call it like a 30-second elevator talk, we'll call it. So and when somebody says, what is chiropractic, what are you going to respond with? Because, you know, we get so focused, um, of course, within our sciences, studying every day, um, and of course studying that art, that we really need to continue to focus on how we're going to communicate that message out there. So we do that by talking each week and role playing. Um, we also watch videos. Um, we watch a lot of Reggie Gold, um, if you're mm. familiar with him. And, Definitely. Uh, I just, just last night I finished watching the Great Chiropractic Debate from oh, 1979. Yes. Isn't oh, that a wow. great video? Yeah, I posted that, that to, uh, to our Facebook page and uh, Google+. Plus. It really was, well, it really was great because it gave me a different perspective of that straight, um, you know, that straight philosophy. But it also got really intense towards the middle. It did. Uh, it between him and the medical good. doctor. And so yeah, I have so many cool. thoughts on it. We'll have to oh, we'll have to write up a blog post. This yeah. so yeah. when you talk about these elevator pitch, uh, elevator pitches, mm -hmm. uh, it sounds a lot like this talk the tick thing that goes around. Is it, do you kind of prepare for that? Um, well, talk the tick is something the school's having uh, more so. I believe it's nationwide. I believe yeah. schools participate, mm -hmm. and um, that's something more that is. Like a health up talk. to each student, and yeah, more uh, more of a longer health talk and as such. I believe it's like eight minutes uh, they want it to be around. Yeah, um, I think yeah, I think they do five. I'm not really sure. But yeah, all of the schools. It's a big thing out in Life West. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. So their Facebook page says so the finals. They they do uh, regional and then a national finals. I think, mm -hmm. and and I believe it's a nice cash prize, a scholarship. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so they've got, it looks like they've got finalists coming from Life West, Life University in Georgia, Palmer Davenport, Palmer, Florida, Parker University, Southern California University, Sherman, and Texas mm -hmm. Chiropractic College. So eight schools are sending delegates. So from what I understand, they do, like you said, an eight-minute kind of a, I wouldn't say a speech, but a presentation mm -hmm. as if they're mm -hmm. talking to a new patient yes. and explaining mm -hmm. what chiropractic is. Yes. Absolutely. So, so we'll do things more. Um, we'll do similar to that in club. Uh, more scenarios, like okay, well, what if your patient says, you know, he comes in and, you know, just any type of scenarios that you're going to have throughout uh, throughout your daily daily basis um, in your office. And uh, so, how are we going to respond to that? Because uh, personally, I've been a chiropractic assistant, and so just knowing and seeing that need, that strong need. To, to be able to communicate your thoughts because no matter how much we keep studying and the such if we can't communicate that we're going to be lost out there right? yeah it does get difficult to put it into words exactly mm -hmm. what you're trying to do and get across so I think it's great to practice practice mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of presentation design and something that goes along with I have a, another blog all about presentation design for educators okay. and part of it is really kind of telling that story you know, yeah. really whittling down the message to the core elements. So it's a great thing that they practice that. What other clubs are you guys involved in? Well, we've got. Uh, well, we have League of Chiropractic Women. Mm -hmm. We have IFCO. Mm -hmm. We have. Explain. Um, can you explain IFCO for those listening? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it is the International Federation of Chiropractors and Organizations. Um, and it is focused on the students. They are very politically involved and they have a mentorship program for when we graduate we are paired, mm, I believe it is a choice, with a chiropractor uh, of that organization and they are in, in other terms they're like a, a, a life coach or a chiropractic coach for the okay. whole entire year after we graduate. So is it is it kind of a, a volunteer coaching program, or is it more of a replacement for the ACA, ICA type thing? Different. It's different yes. than those. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the ACA is the American Chiropractic Association, the ICA is the International Chiropractic Association, mm -hmm. and most chiropractors, I don't know, if, do you have to be a member of one or the other to be licensed? I'm not sure that you do. No, no. I don't think so. But it's a large membership organization and you keep in yeah. touch and we're all encouraged to be a part of one of those and those are the two main ones. I'm not sure right. if there's any others. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, Ginny, what about you? A club that you really love to participate in? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'm in a couple of different clubs. Uh, I'm in one that's ICPA based called Little Spines. Cute. And um, and we go <laughs> over uh, various things. Um, sometimes there's presentations. Sometimes there are speakers. Um, they talk about things that we will be looking at in Little Spines. You know, baby spines that make them different from adults. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a a, a neat little club. Great. How about you, Rachel? <laughs> um, if Anna hasn't already mentioned, uh, the two of us are actually co-president of LCW. Um, so we work together to empower women and, you know, just provide that space and that, that sharing. We bring in a lot of different speakers and everything and go to different conferences and it's awesome. And Anna can share more about it if she'd like as well. Sure. Yeah, Rachel has recently stepped up to be the new co-president with me for the League of Chiropractic Women. And that is an international chiropractic organization for all women in chiropractic, not just doctors or students. It's got CAs, it's got wives, girlfriends, partners, just any woman that loves chiropractic and wants a space to reach out and connect with other women in chiropractic. So the overall purpose would be to empower women and make them... Uh, stronger leaders in a principled chiropractic profession. So I have to ask, and, and some friends of mine at school were curious too, is is the panel that is joining me tonight, all five of you representative of the the balance of men to women at Sherman? <laughs> <laughs> um, Close. 
Yeah, I think the yeah. women are, are much stronger leaders at Sherman at this time, but we've definitely got some awesome guys too. Mm -hmm. So, but general general class numbers? Do you is it more than fifty percent women, or do you have an idea? I think it's fifty fifty. Yeah, yeah it's probably about yeah, fifty fifty. Yeah. Probably close. Yeah, pretty close to fifty fifty. Yeah. But the women are more active in the leadership part of it. It's women around the world. Some error. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. There's a lot of. I, I would say that there's just um. There's a lot of people that are active within the school, men and women, for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. That's great. Do you? Uh, um, do you have any? You know, just kind of big functions together as a school. Every quarter we have kind of an opening barbecue type thing. What does Sherman do to get the the you know the classes mm. together. Well, bagel fest. <laughs> bagel fest. <laughs> we have bagel this fest year, and fun burrito day. fest. Oh yeah, burrito fest this time. Yeah. Bagel yeah. fest and burrito fest. It's Tell a school-wide event. The school feeds everyone lunch, and in the spring, uh, everyone has off the rest of the day, and they bring in. Um, they have volleyball tournaments, and this last time we had a slip and slide. Mm -hmm. uh, um, in our rolling lawn, which was a ton of fun. Um, they have different games, different things to do, mm -hmm. and everyone that wants to be involved, it's like a school-wide event, you know. The school sponsors everything. It's a lot of fun. When it's not the spring, we have what's called a bagel fest, and then they introduce the coming, the first quarter that's entering the school. And what would you all describe that as, actually? <laughs> it's a big party. Hazing. It's a big party. <laughs> it's a little yeah. kind of a silly hazing kind of thing. <laughs> the first quarter people perform in front of the whole school. Yeah, and they have to make up some uh, new lyrics to music. They make it chiropractic, and mm -hmm. it is the funniest thing you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. A slow, little song and dance routine. And oh, it's yeah. good so entertainment. Much. It's so much fun. And then traditionally, we're all supposed to boo them, of course, and it's absolutely get yeah, them welcomed yeah. into Sherman. So yes, we always like, have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a rite of passage. So um, yes. you know, you get booed your first quarter, but then for the next thirteen quarters after that, you get to boo somebody else. Right. <laughs> it sounds like maybe a lot them. of the things that you do are re uh, kind of revolve around food. Might that be? <laughs> I noticed. I'm well, just browsing. Well, man, we're, we are in the south, you know. Yeah, so I was, I was browsing the. <laughs> you're just browsing your website and came across Southern Fried Friday. Yeah, it just, that just happened. Yeah, it just happened. Yeah. That was this Friday. past Friday. Yeah, so yeah. Is this for the students or is this for prospective students? For pre prospective, prospective students. students. Uh -huh. So yeah. you just you just lure them in with fried chicken. Uh -huh. <laughs> so no, you know, I actually I did it after. I did it as a student myself. Um, I moved down here and I had to do some prerequisites. So I uh, I would come out and visit Sherman as much as I could, and so I would do events like that all the time. It's fun. Is it an all-day thing, and how frequently do they do it? Um, they usually do at least once a quarter, something like that, um, because then they also have shadow and intern where well, they'll bring in um, you, you as a prospective student can go shadow an intern throughout the day, which is a really great experience. So, very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, is is fried chicken and waffles a thing out there? Because I hear a lot about that, but uh -huh. I don't get it. Mm. I, I don't know. Yeah, I fried it. chicken mm -hmm. and waffles. Yeah. Like together? So you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? It's uh, maybe it's maybe it's further down south, but yeah, you put fried chicken on waffles and pour syrup oh on it. Oh my god. It's a, no. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. Right. So, <laughs> haven't heard of that yet. No, I don't know about that. Well, yeah, well, Robin, I, heard I, that I think you were going to mention the Lyceum. Lyceum is once a year mm -hmm. event, too, and it's a really big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, alumni from all over the world come, and it's a, a huge, huge event. Mm -hmm. And yes. the last one happened back in May. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I noticed down here on their website, B.J. Palmer visited Sherman. Oh, oh yeah. Guy, yeah, he's funny. <laughs> was this a seance where you brought him back for the dead, or what was going on there? <laughs> this guy has got this weird, uncanny resemblance. And he, as you can see in the picture, he really looks like that. And he walks around and talks about philosophy, and he's, he's really funny. So is it hilarious. 
A yeah. B.J. Palmer impersonator, huh? Yes, it's awesome. And does yeah. he walk around carrying the green books? <laughs> he should. We I'm should sure he has when he comes back. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. There he wow. is. <laughs> so, th- so there's a big conference, lots of different speakers, mm-hmm. is that right? Yeah, yes. that's a big yep. thing. And then they have a big banquet. And, oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, alumni. 1970s banquet. Oh, yeah. oh God. Thank, so goodness much you, fun. thank goodness you don't have all the pictures. Cause <laughs> it, was, it was really fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I bet I could find them on Facebook. Let's not. So it's kind of a dress-up event? Oh, yeah. It's so yes. fun. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The banquet always has a theme, and then we dress in costume. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, Rachel and I were in charge of the decorations for that this time, so we had fun with that. Oh yeah, it was a riot. It was yeah. great. We also Very have a, um, the IRAPS thing once a month. Yeah, I mean, once, once a year. Once a year. <clears throat> yeah, and that's coming up in October. Mm-hmm. What was that one again? Say it again. IRAP. IRAP. Okay. You probably see it there on the uh, website. It's a research symposium. Mmm, I did come across that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's coming up end of October. Mm-hmm. Or third is it third week? Mm-hmm. Third week. Yes. Third week. Let me see if I can find that. That's so right. it's it's a research conference. Mm-hmm. Um and people fly in from all over the world and present mm-hmm. their research. Last year was wonderful. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did find the link to it, but the page is down. That's a bummer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me see if I can fix that myself. So, what I mean, what kind of research we're we talking about? This is for for chiropractic, obviously, but there are different presenters every single year. We have like people. last year, I know they did some blood pressure um, presentation of blood pressure research. Yeah. Uh, they did some research. Um, Oh, there was uh, NSA and yeah. autism. Mm-hmm. That uh, was a good one. That was a great one, yeah. Mm-hmm. And there was, uh, trying to think what else there was. Oh, there was that student. There was a student who came from life, and he is just rocking and rolling doing some research. I mean, he uh, he was, he was, where did he flew? Uh, they flew? He flew to France, I believe, to present information that he was researching. So he was really rocking and rolling as a student. Wow. Yeah. Do you remember his name? I do not, no. I have it written down at home. Yeah, wow. It looks like a huge conference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A good 30 presentations, it looked like, right. are and, lined and up. The, so the that's bonus cool. is that we as students, we always get to go there to that type of thing for free. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so yeah. awesome. Another Benny for somebody to come visit us and go to this Sherman School. <laughs> yeah. I love the student prizes on these seminars. Oh, I agree. It's so yeah. great. And we, we mentioning good. seminars, we also do, um, we go travel to go to uh, Dynamic Essentials seminars in Atlanta. These are non-school related, but the school definitely supports us um, getting out there and doing that. So th- there's two philosophy events that uh, we support, going to DE and the New Beginnings in New Jersey, Mm -hmm. um, which is a great seminar as well. And there we're able to meet, it's just absolutely amazing, we're able to meet so many students, so many current uh, DCs out there. It's it's fun and it's educational and formative. Um, And then, you know, that can, of course, then that's just a different type of seminar because they also school lets us know, keeps us updated on technique seminars and and the such as well. Very and just cool. touching on touching on what Virginia just said, um, this past April our board of trustees actually mm-hmm. came for a tour bus for our entire student body, however many wanted to go, to go to New Beginnings mm-hmm. in New Jersey. Yeah. So oh, we, wow. we had like what forty some people actually make there that 43 trip. Forty three people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so, and that just shows that our board is very um, supportive of our student body, and they're very involved, and they all want to know us and have personal relationships with us. So that was a, a great thing. Mm-hmm. Explain a little more about New Beginnings, because I've heard a lot about it lately, but I have not been able to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you should check it out. Absolutely. It's just a wonder, wonderful seminar. Like I say, you can meet so many students. Um, so many current docs out there, and just 
go and present issues that you're having, questions that you have. You know, if you're not having any issues, all the highs that you're having, um, it's it's really amazing just the support you're able to get and um, to sit there and do, you know, sharpen your tools, get your, uh, like I say, your questions answered, but also sit through informative um, speakers. So it's a, it's a really great time. You should definitely make it out there if you have the opportunity. Are these kind of like the events that they do at, oh, Life West is the wave, and out in the Bay Area they've got Cal Jam, where they're yeah, yeah. super yeah. high energy, really yeah. coming yeah. up kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah That's absolutely. kind of what New Beginnings is, too. Mm -hmm. Kind of fun. Yeah. So is it kind of like a chiropractic pep rally? Similar, but a lot of philosophy. Part of it. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. speakers, and it's definitely a high-energy, motivational-type um, seminar, but I wouldn't really go as far as to call it a pep rally. That might be okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. a little... At the same <laughs> time, you're, you know, rah rah and then you're saying yeah. chiropractic, you're still also, you know, sen Sunday morning of New Beginnings, they have a complete green book reading. Mm-hmm. Like the whole, the whole. Book. Not, not, no, no. You're oh. not reading all the green books, but you're you're talking about them and, uh, and the such. So that would be. Gosh, okay. I was gonna say that that could take yeah. a long time. So you never leave Sunday morning. <laughs> the new beginnings N B as in beginnings Cairo dot com, and they have them all over the country, isn't that right? Right. They, in different uh, locations. They, no, they only have it in New Jersey. Oh, is it only New Jersey? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's another one out here in the West that I, is very similar, so I guess I got okay. that confused. Yeah, there are quite a few that go on across the country as well. Different seminars, different names, but the similar approach. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're getting towards the end of the show. Um, I ask everybody, uh, when, I, when we're talking about all the great things that their school offers, uh, and just to get a little bit of a different perspective, I've got to ask each of you, what is the one thing, if you could, that you would change about Sherman? Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it can be anything. Location, temperature, <laughs> a different uh, tuition. <laughs> tuition is ever on the rise. Yeah. <laughs> and that gets a little frustrating, but we do increases. still have one of the most affordable colleges in the country. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I think you are down towards the uh, the bottom. Yes. Uh, there's a great website, uh, thechiropracticforum.com, that has uh, a table that just lists and compares all of the schools and their mm -hmm. tuition. Mm -hmm. So students should check that out as part of the consideration. I do, yeah. I do believe you are yeah, you are one of the cheaper schools, and I am at the most expensive. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I hope I'm getting what I pay for. So Anna... <laughs> Anna, I'm going to put you on the spot. What's one thing you would change? Oh, goodness. Um, well, I would say the cafeteria, but we've actually already done that. <laughs> so I don't even know if it applies anymore. Um, we've, we've really been making some great changes in our cafe and adding lots of more healthy, organic-type foods, which, you know, chiropractic is about life and health, and so we need to have healthy food in our cafe, and they actually just did a total revamp over the summer break, so I'm happy. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, we're trying to get more gluten-free and, you know, accommodating mm -hmm. everybody. Very good. Ginny, For sure. you're on the spot. Ginny, what would you change? Oh, boy. Um, I guess I was thinking the cafe as well. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> man. What did they uh -oh. feed you before? The main, the main thing, the reason, I, I guess, um, you know, this is my first quarter there, so I don't know what the cafe was like before that. I was just thinking of how much variety we had in the cafe over at Life, which was a much larger school. Right. Um, so that would have been, I think the only thing I would say change-wise is I would like to see more variety in the cafe. But otherwise, I so far, I can't think of anything I would change. Yeah. All right, the Rachel. The students are great. The students are very friendly. The staff, uh, you know, the faculty, they really care about if you're if you're learning, if you're getting it, if you're having problems, uh, you know, there's student tutors, there's, you know, they're always available. Um, so, and I think uh, of all of the three schools I've been at, I find that Sherman is the lowest key when it comes to stress. So okay. I find that a really great thing about it. I know you were asking me the other thing, though. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. You did give me one thing to change. Rachel, on to you. One thing you would change about Sherman if you could. 
Um, one thing I would change, although it's kind of already in the process of changing, is getting out in the immediate community within Spartanburg. And um, we have partnerships with a nearby college. We're working with their athletes, and then we're also setting up care uh, or working on it with a hospice that's right down the road with us. So um, I interact with, I work at a restaurant on the weekends, and a lot of times I'll, you know, talk to people, what do you know about Sherman and stuff like that. And um, sometimes mm -hmm. being that we're so small, um, people really don't know too much about us. So just getting the word out and, you know, letting people know that we're here and what we can do and what we do do. So. Yeah, that's great. A lot of the schools are just kind of tucked away. And, right. You know, and of course they're not as big. They're just not as big as these huge universities that towns are built around them. So okay. I think that's great. Uh, Robin, what would you change? Well, the only one is what you wanted, right? Yeah, um, just one thing. Um, let's see. I would want a larger gym. Mm. That's what I'm hoping for too. Yeah. When I was at Life, we had almost you know, uh, five times as large of a place, and I prefer space and um, a larger gym. An indoor salted saltwater pool would be my preference. <laughs> yes, that would be nice. Yeah, hey, we're dreaming, you know. Why not? Next hey, time why not? Yes. Why not put in a full spa with masseuse and everything? <laughs> Steam room would be great too. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Virginia, do you have one idea? Uh -huh. um, it, it's kind of also touching on things that we're improving on um, already, and then it's just going green friendly. Um, because like I said, we've talked about starting a garden on campus where yeah. students can tend to that. Um, there's talk about um, you know solar panel. You know, lighting, heating, electricity completely. I mean, there's so many opportunities, and I just think that, you know, as Anna was saying, it's, you know, it's so important to be, of course, being healthy. And I feel at the same time, we need to be also taking care of our environment around us as well. So that's awesome. uh, things that we've really been talking about a lot at school here. Yeah, I love it. That's great. One thing I love about being in Portland, I moved from Oregon or from Utah. And there was, I couldn't recycle. Like, there's no way I, I couldn't find a place to recycle. <laughs> and I was so excited. Oh, here. <laughs> the first day when I moved here, the first day I walked, walked out to the dumpster in my apartment complex, and there were, like, five recycling bins. I was like, yes. I guess yeah. I'm going again. <laughs> it was so good. Absolutely. So, hey, we're, we're going to run long. I just realized that uh, Robin and Jeannie, I didn't touch on the fact that you guys transferred from other schools. So I'm going to come back in a minute. We're going to talk about that. Then we're going to go on to our new little segment that I'm calling our Tick Picks. Before that, I just want to mention, if I can pull up real quick, uh, the affiliates for Exploring Chiropractic. Um, you know, we're, I'm doing this all on my own, all for free, I'm just trying to get the word out and help free chiropractic students. So, if you want to help support us, I don't want your money or anything, but we all buy stuff. And uh, so I'm just going to share some things that I love, and if they interest you, then you can help us out by, you know, signing up from us. So today, the affiliate I want to talk about is Backblaze, and Backblaze is just a great way to back up your computer. So I've got uh, all my data stored here on two huge hard drives, and you know, a while back I went to England, and I went on a tour of England and Scotland and had so many awesome photos and videos, and about a year later, my hard drive died, oh, and it no. just, just mm. broke my heart, and so I've, other than the copies that I put on Facebook, you know, which was just a small selection, I lost them all. So now I'm using Backblaze, and check this out. Backblaze is just a great way to back up your computer. It's just $5 a month, or you can pay less if you pay for the year. Uh, it's available on your PC or your Mac, and you just download this little app, and it just uploads it in the background, you know, every time you make a little change, uh, and it's great. So Backblaze, if you want to, you know, check that out, go to exploringchiropractic.com slash Backblaze. So back to you, back to Robin and Ginny. You both mentioned to me that you were transfer students. So uh, both of you were at Life. Uh, one of you was at National, and then you came to Sherman. Tell just briefly, if you can, what was it like at the other schools? Why did you decide to change? Ginny, how about you go? Um, well, I started out at National, and the reason I went there, I wasn't that attracted to their philosophy or, you know, lack of philosophy, um, but, I, but I, I went there for geographic reasons because my family was still there, my husband and my son, 
And um, I kind of went there with the idea that chiropractic is chiropractic and I would get what I needed from there and practice chiropractic in my own way. But what I under, you know, what I discovered when I was there, you know, when you're in chiropractic school, your whole life pretty much becomes what you're doing at chiropractic school because that's what you do all day and then you study all night and all weekend. And, and um, I, I just found it was just very incongruent with, you know, my entire idea of chiropractic. I'm sure that it's a good school for those who are medically oriented and, you know, um, and more rehab oriented and and all that sort of thing but it really wasn't you know my thing and uh, my husband announced that he was going to retire early and so since he wasn't going to be there I didn't see why I needed to stay at nationals so I chose I chose life because of its um, you know because of its philosophy and uh, a lot of opportunity that it had and all and um, I was you know really really happy there but Sherman has more of the philosophy it's closer to where my family is uh, it's a little smaller classroom it's a little more personal and uh, it offers everything that I'm looking for so uh, so it feels like it's been a good choice for me cool Robin what was your experience I started out in undergrad at Life many, many moons ago, and I unfortunately was with the class that they had an accreditation problem, mm. so it was a choice of stay and hope for the best or go somewhere else. I ended up going to Palmer, Florida to open it, was there for a few quarters, and then went back to Life, finished a nutrition degree instead of DC, and... Um, Continued working and doing that and decided, well, I, I was just going to be a nutritionist and an alternative health care giver. I percolated about it for years and came up to Sherman just to see what it felt like. And it was lovely. And I like the fact that Sherman is smaller. Um, at Life is a huge school, as everyone knows, and you're basically a number. What is the student body count at Sherman? Do you have an idea? Uh, it's uh, 250. 250. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That really is a small class, a small, small student size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're at about 500 here, and I thought we were really small. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, it's and Robbie, different. You, you mentioned uh, in your description of yourself that you're an older student. You, you've got a lot of experience, as you mentioned, in the healthcare field. What has it been like to you know, later on in life, come back to school and, and try to switch your career a bit? Mm, it's not really a switch. It's just kind of an add-on type of thing. I, uh, I'm i used to working with people. Um, it's only going to enhance what I already do. So you're adding some more skills and more tools right. that you can use mm -hmm. to help your patients. Mm -hmm. That's great. It's so fascinating to me to hear about students that have transferred to different schools because it's such a different perspective that they have. I, as you, I think as you both mentioned, you know, you just, chiropractic is chiropractic. I'll just pick whatever school I want to go to. But, uh, you know, I, I hear all the time students say, oh, this isn't really what I thought it was. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it's great. You know, I have to commend anyone that that has that courage to switch schools. That's something that I would be kind of afraid of. In my undergrad, you know, I... I just, I was excited to go there, but after some time, it just didn't feel like the right fit. But I had no idea what to do. I didn't know where to go or, you know, mm -hmm. what to do. So I stuck it out, and I'm, I'm glad. I was happy with the experience for the most part. But um, you're in third quarter now. Yeah. So at, at Western States, I'm in third quarter. No, I'm looking at your thing on the. Well, see, you, mm -hmm. could, you could visit Sherman and check it out and transfer, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I am I am pretty happy at Western States as, as so far. Save you some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would save you some money. Need a I nice know, fun someone girl. Was, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you eat some waffles and fried chicken. <laughs> I heard rumor a while back, this is quite some time ago, that um, a group of chiropractors that supported Life West were um, were going to support any student that wanted to transfer.
from a different school to Life West, uh -huh. and they're going to do it by giving them a large sum of money. I'm not sure that they would pay for their entire tuition, but I thought, holy crap, I would totally do that. <laughs> Anything to, uh, you know, to minimize. Reduce the student loan, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Just a, a quick bit of information for any potential students out there. Sherman is constantly getting transfers from other chiropractic schools. Oh, but yeah, in my yeah. entire 12 quarters at Sherman, we have never lost a student to another school. Um, to say. Yeah. We, we keep them. We they don't leave. leave. They love it here. True. <laughs> oh, not to my knowledge, we've never lost one. We, we had one if you know of one. Yeah. We did we have, have one transfer, but you okay, had one transfer. That was one student, but yeah, but yeah, many that do the, transfer in. Out of all the ones, one yes. out of three years. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. There he is. There, there we go. They're You're back. back. Oh my goodness. What is Sorry about that. I got kicked out. My mom tried to call me on FaceTime. <laughs> uh, so sorry about that. Um, thanks Whoops. for filling in for a little second. So that yeah, that's an interesting point that you haven't that people haven't transferred from Sherman to other schools. Mm -hmm. I that's a that, rare thing. that yes. is a very rare thing. I know of students that are transferring from all other schools. Um, you know, from Western states to Western states from Life. West and you know that's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, let's wrap this up. Thank you all so much. This has just really been fascinating to learn more about the one school that I really haven't heard much about. So to to wrap it up, I'd like to do something new for exploring chiropractic, which is what I'm calling your tick pick, and that's just one thing that you think. Anybody interested in chiropractic should really look into to find out a book, a, a website, a technique, uh, anything like that. So I think we're just going to, I'm going to pull up the items here on my page and let's start with uh, Anna. All right. Um, well, as we previously mentioned, Rachel and I are the co-presidents of the League of Chiropractic Women Sherman College chapter. And the thing that I want to share with potential students and other students at other schools is to get involved with the LCW. Even if you're not a woman in chiropractic, even if you're a man that's going to chiropractic school but you've got a wife or a girlfriend, get her involved also because any woman in chiropractic is going to need another space to communicate with women going through the same scenarios and we can learn from each other and grow with each other in a feminine system setting, really. Um, so it's a way to, to help women grow in chiropractic. And I know for me personally, it's given me lots of opportunities to get to know other women doctors and CAs and wives of chiropractors. And you know, because of the LCW, I'm going to be speaking at a conference in Manhattan in September. And that's not something I thought I would ever in my whole life do. Oh, how cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's really um, encouraging me to step up and do more and um, have a lot of really, really cool experiences that I otherwise probably would never have done. So male chiropractors can be members of the, of the league? Um, or is there, it only there's for women? A, <laughs> there's a men's auxiliary. Okay. And, and that's um, basically just a, a place for the men to support the women in chiropractic. Um, really, it is geared towards the wives, the girlfriends, the women doctors, the CAs, um, that sort of stuff within chiropractic. Awesome. That sounds great. So the League of Chiropractic Women, you can find more info at lcwmembers.com. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Ginny, Absolutely. you've got a, a tick pick to share? I do. Um, I'd like to, you know, introduce uh, more about ICPA. That's ICPA4, as in number four, kids.com. Um, you know, I think as time goes on, we're discovering that many adults don't even have an idea that they can bring their kids and have them adjusted and what kind of benefits there are to that. So, um, you know, if you're interested in, in families, uh, which, you know, a great deal of us have family practices, ICPA kind of helps you out, uh, gives you a lot more information about kids, about parents, um, 
about pregnant ladies, there is a, a technique that helps pregnant ladies do labor a lot easier called the Webster technique. There's just all kinds of really cool information and ways of more effectively adjusting children. So would someone that's that's treating uh, children and pregnant women, would they go as far as doing kind of the whole gynecology aspect of of treating them or is it I mean, what? How do they deal with the pregnant women? Uh, no, uh, you, you know, a lot of women these days are wanting to have midwives. Um, there are lots of women who do birthing centers, and then some, of course, who choose their uh, OBGYNs and and do it at the hospital. But the whole idea with chiropractic is that they would visit, you know, the chiropractor, um, you know, throughout their pregnancy. Um, my daughter is an ICPA chiropractor, and she's also a doula. And she will actually go to some of her uh, patients during labor and help them through labor. So, and a lot of times, adjustment through labor will make things go much faster and much easier. That's great. I'm fascinated by that stuff. I'm yeah. I'm single so, myself. My one of my closest friends, who's in the program with me right now, uh, he and his wife just had their first baby. And so it's fun to kind of hear his thoughts on, you know, do I, you know, does my baby get adjusted? And, and of course, his wife was coming to the clinic, you know, all throughout her pregnancy. So that's great. So, well, you know, the birth process is, is really pretty traumatic. So it's not unusual mm -hmm. for a baby to be subluxated after the birth process. So, you know, the earlier you can get to that and remove the subluxation, you know, the better the child's life goes, you know. Uh, they don't, they're not as colicky, they're not as fussy, a lot of times they sleep better, their digestive tract works better, all that good stuff. Great, so that's the ICPA, the International, is it Council for Pediatric Association? Uh, International the, uh, Chiropractic, Chiropractic Pediatric, Pediatric Association. Association. And mm -hmm. you can find more information at ICPA, the number four, kids.org. And I know they are on Twitter. I've been following them for quite a while. Great. Thank you. Rachel, right. what is your tick pick? Oh, Rachel, I muted you. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can unmute you. I got it. So what is your tick pick? Okay, my tick pick... Um is a book that I'm reading right now, which I'm sure our philosophy, Virginia, I'm sure has read already. It's um, volume 36, Palmer's Law of Life, and uh, it's a one of the green books. It's a short, shorter book, though. A bunch of them are very, very large and dense and, and take a while to read and digest. So this one, um, I haven't read any of the bigger ones yet, so this is helping me to just, you know, ease into it um, in addition to our philosophy classes, which I'm not having this quarter right now, so I need you know need that input and that study. Um, so Palmer's Law of Life, all about chiropractic and uh, everything you need to know. So. And this is by B. J. Palmer. Yes. Great, and uh, looks like it's maybe available as a used book on Amazon. Uh, if you wanted to go to exploringchiropractic.com/affiliates, you could buy it through our Amazon link, or you can just find it in your library. I bet. Yes. Awesome. Palmer's Law of Life. That sounds really cool. Thanks, Rachel. Yeah. Uh, Robin, let's move on to you. What's your tick pick? I would say um, the club that i president of, the IFCO, and for also students to, if they do end up uh, getting into a school, to become involved in something. It, it yeah, I think involvement enhances it. I'm finding that it, you know, it's so difficult because we're so busy as students. That's the um, challenge, yeah. But just attending the clubs, um, getting involved in seminars and that type of thing, really is great. And I, I gotta say that Ifco has probably one of the best websites, the chiropractic <laughs> websites I've seen. It's this got is some really great. great. Graphics. Uh, and I noticed a little while back, I was checking it out, they've got scholarships. They've they got do. one coming up that, uh, let's see here if I can see it. 
I'm thinking the leadership scholarship was the one I was looking at. Mm -hmm. uh, five yeah, prizes yeah. totaling yeah. five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Any little bit helps with uh, paying our tuition. Right, every little bit helps. They also have a, a lot of seminars. They're having a summit in uh, the end of September. It's in the uh, Dominican Republic. It's a, like a philosophy weekend. And as IFCO members, student members can attend for free. The summit oh, is now. That, yeah. Unfortunately, they will not pay for our airfare. <laughs> um, so we're on our own there. <laughs> but it's in a fantastic place. Yeah. Awesome. So the uh, so IFCO that you can find that at ifcocairo.org. Mm -hmm. Check they, out they, their seminars coming up and their scholarships for students. They also have a really good student newsletter. Then people can go to that website and sign up for that. Okay. Uh, weekly emails. How often does that come out? It is, I believe, every two weeks. Okay. Virginia, let's move on to you. What's your tick mm. pick? Um, my tick pick is um, a book that's it's uh, not chiropractic related, but it's related in life and just because it can aid in so many different areas. It's the book Peaceful Warrior. Such it's, a um, great book. It really, truly is. For me personally, it changed uh, changed my life. I was uh, in the financial industry after my undergrad years and um, unhappy. Just I was in advertising sales, financial industry, looking for something to do, doing chiropractic assistant on the side, thinking I was always going on to something bigger and better. And instead, when I watched that movie, it's a great story about being present in your moment. And um, well, I watched the movie and read the book. Uh, I would definitely, of course, recommend reading the book. Um, but when I watched it, originally I just stopped and I was like, wow, you know, I'm not living life like that. I'm living life always thinking of the next moment or thinking of the past rather than the present. So for me personally, I got out of a relationship I was in. I you know, changed my career and decided to go back to school. and. Um, and it just, I always go back to it because chiropractic is so important to be present where you're at. Rather, you know, any profession you're in, any, any avenue of life, of course, is important to be present. It's just when we're giving those chiropractic adjustments, our minds have to be so present with that patient and nowhere else. So um, that's why I recommend it, just because it's a total life changer for me personally, it was. I love it. I think I first heard about it with the movie. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, but then I got the book, and yes. you know, so Dan Millman, Dan Millman, the author, was an Olympic gymnast and mm -hmm. had a horrible motorcycle accident, and kind of throughout his his university co competition years, uh, mm -hmm. met these mentors, and and he, I think he puts them all together in the story as yes, one man, I believe so. yes. one man who he names Socrates because he doesn't know his real name, and just mm -hmm. the stories are fabulous. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the one thing that stuck out to me the most, I think, was the diet that he put him on, uh -huh. which is basically a raw diet. And I don't know why that, that's kind of stuck in my mind, and I've been planning recently to try that for a couple of weeks. Yes, he does talk about that. Very important. For me personally, what um, stuck out was, um, and I always see it, I always envision it from the movie, he was just being so caught up in his life and you know he had to go meet Socrates for a lesson and he was rushing and he had to go to swim practice instead or I'm sorry gymnastic practice instead so he's rushing he's like he gets there he meets him he said alright let's go let's go and he's like let's make this quick today so he goes oh you want to make it quick and he takes him and just throws him right over the bridge that they're standing on into the water and this guy's going Dan is going, what? You're crazy. What's going on and everything? And he goes, he goes, that's a lesson done for the day. He says, what was that? You know, and he said, well, what else were you thinking about at that exact moment? Nothing falling through the air. Mm -hmm. And so he's just always teaching him to be present right where he's at. Focused. It's such a great thing to do. And he, mm -hmm. So it's available uh, on Kindle. It's available in paperback, hardcover, and as a movie, and as an audiobook, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, which I I think I have got that one in audiobook. There's another great book that he wrote, which is called uh, No Ordinary Moments, and that one really mm -hmm. focuses on, on that being present and just mm -hmm. experiencing life right now. 
So that's great. You can uh, look it up, The Way, Way of the Peaceful Warrior. Yes. And uh, you know, I'll have a link in the show notes at exploringchiropractic.com. Well, my pick of the week is you know, a great book that I came across. And we we're in our philosophy, um, our philosophy class just a couple weeks ago, and there was a quote up there by D.D. Palmer. And the reference was to a book called The Chiropractor that was written by him. <clears throat> and so I immediately pulled it up on my on uh, Amazon on my iPad and I found that it's available in the Kindle edition and I've been reading this at night uh, before I fall asleep and it's been incredibly eye-opening uh, to find out some of the thoughts of Dee Dee Palmer as, you know, as far as how chiropractic kind of came about and how he uh, you know began experimenting with it and studying it. Uh, so it's called The Chiropractor, and what really blew me away was that some of the quotes just kind of were completely different than what I expected. And so I'm, I want to share just two quotes here. Uh, he says, The method by which I obtained an explanation of certain physical phenomena from an intelligence in the spirit world is known in bi biblical language as inspiration. He goes on to talk about... Uh, experiences where he kind of got some information about chiropractic from uh, from this deceased doctor in the spirit world. Kind of crazy. Um, then the other quote that really blew me away is he said, philosophy, special or general, is not the foundation upon which I built the science of chiropractic. Chiropractic is a science. And I'm sure we could debate that for hours and hours and hours, <laughs> but man, there are just so many things, and that's just, a lot of the things are just very different than what I thought, you know, the originator of chiropractic would have said. Of course, there's many other books uh, that he wrote, but this one, I think, I think anyone who's interested in chiropractic should learn about its origins, and it's only three ninety nine on Kindle. I mean, how can you not? I bought it right away when I saw that. So the chiropractor, Dee Dee Palmer, I'll have a link to that one in the show notes as well. Well, that brings us to the end of tonight's show. Thank you all so much for for joining me tonight and sharing some info about your school in Southern Car uh, South Carolina. Um, do you have you know online presence, uh, Facebook, Twitter, anything that you want people to follow you on? Sure, I've got a Facebook. Anna? I'd love to have you. Tell Absolutely. us how we can find you online. Um, well, it's Anna Elkins, and um, Anna, A-N-N-A-E-L-K-I-N-S, and you just put in my name, and it should come up. I'll be the only one that goes to Sherman College. <laughs> awesome. Sounds good. And Ginny, any way we can find you online? Uh, yes, the same way, um, except I'm under Virginia Gross. Virginia like the state gross on Facebook. I was going to say too. There's um, you know there's an LCW uh, site on Facebook that mm -hmm. for anyone who's interested in following that we have some really active clubs at Sherman and Life both. In fact, Sherman has the Digital largest Facebook. LCW student organization. Oh, wow, really, that is really great. Okay. Yeah, because of these two ladies that are always getting everybody pumped up and excited. Getting it done. Wonderful. Rachel, Thanks, how can we find more about you? And I muted you again. Why don't you unmute that? I'll go to Robin real quick. Facebook is fine. All right. And Virginia? Oh, same thing. Facebook, yes. Okay, great. Rachel, just on Facebook? Facebook's fine, yep. Okay. Well, great. Uh, I'm Nathan Cash, and you can find me uh, if you want to find me on Facebook, check out Exploring Chiropractic. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Nathan Cashin. Uh, and check out exploringchiropractic.com. We do these shows uh, just about every other week, usually on Sunday nights. And uh, next up, we should be getting Southern California University of Health Sciences back. Uh, we had a scheduling conflict there, and then they went into their finals. So we missed out on them a couple weeks ago. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking to, you know, kind of expand our audience and talk with some chiropractors. Uh, I've been in touch with a chiropractor in Israel. Uh, some students of ours went to the Maccabea Games uh, just recently, which is kind of the Jewish Olympic Games held in Israel 
uh, every four years, I believe. So we're going to be talking about some more stuff related to chiropractic, but until then, exploringchiropractic.com, and thanks again for watching.